Hello everyone, welcome to this little tutorial of mine. This is basically going to explain how to uh, maximize the quality if you are using the Katsukichi uh, capture card for either the 2DS or 3DS or 3DX, uh, 3DS XL, any of these things. I'm going to show you guys how to maximize the quality because it's not self-explanatory and I'm going to go over the basics and what you should definitely have checked or not have checked in order to have some pretty decent quality if you want to make let's plays of your own or videos of your own. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to go over the basics now. Configuration. Uh, there is not really much that you can do. Uh, well, the only thing that you can do if you want to maximize quality is you go to transfer mode, but it should already be like this. So, uh, 60 FPS. 3D view sound full, so this is like the max quality in terms of in terms of transfer mode. The bag buffer size needs to be the well needs to be the biggest, the, the highest resolution. This doesn't really uh, affect the actual resolution, but if you were if I were to check this, then as you can see, it is very blurred and stuff because they are trying to put well they're trying to drag 400 pixels across the actual amount of pixels that are on the screen like this. So as you can see, this has a major influence on the quality. Uh, this is definitely something you want to have on the maximum because that way all the pixels will be like it's will will, will, be, will be close to its normal resolution I guess. Uh, now threat priority it should be well USB receiver part should be on like highest which is good uh, I guess if you go to time critical it might even be better but I'm not really gonna risk it for me it's good like uh, if, for me it's good like this A drawing I actually I've actually heard some comments about uh, if you check it, uh, if if you if you check this to highest. Apparently it can decrease quality. Actually, yes, I am noticing that. Yeah, well, m maybe I'm just imagining things, but I just keep it on. I, I just keep all these things on what they were in the beginning. Uh, the, yeah, all these settings are obviously not that crucial. There is, there is also one big crucial part that is the three yeah, the 3D mode. I well, I don't have a 3DS, so I don't think it would even it would even make a difference. But I but perhaps you can. Oh, look at this. 3D mode. So, so this is like if you're playing with a uh, with with these Oculus Rift or some shit like that. I don't even know what this is, but I'm, I'm just gonna turn it off <laughs> the way it's supposed to be. I'm just messing with the settings a little bit. Uh, filter. Now this is very important. Uh, you do not want to have a filter on. If I were to go to bilinear, oh, yeah, you'll notice a difference. There you go. It's 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 more blurry. It's still it's still very good the quality, but in my opinion, it's more blurry. Uh, it does smooth out the tiles in the background, I guess. But yeah, if I go to anti anti-sotropic, it's it's similar the effect. It's actually choppy if I now walk around. So I'll just go back to no filter, and everything is everything is now crisp and clean the way it's supposed to be. And uh, yeah, it's true that the tiles in the background kind of kind of, well, kind of glitch around when you walk around, but that's normal. It's because of all these stripes and stuff. You can't really avoid that. If it, it, um, right now I'm looking at I'm looking at my real monitor on the console that I'm holding, and it's exactly the same. So this is this is. Well, no filter. This is the this is the exact same quality. This is very important that you do not have a filter on. Size adjustment. Um, it's definitely important not to go to like uh, dot by dot three or something like that because that would make it immense. Basically, what this does is it in is it, it increases the dimensions by three times the amount or two times the amount. Just keep it on one, and then yeah, and then it's gonna yeah, then it's going to uh, shrink the uh, screen. So as you, uh, yeah, as you can see now. Now these are the actual screen resolutions at, uh, of the console that I'm holding right now. As you can see, the screens are pretty small. So let's let's uh, increase that again. I think that well well l l yeah like so the screen uh, yeah, the size adjustment is obviously not dot dot by one anymore, but it's still uh, fairly close to it. Display. I prefer to have the screens horizontally placed. So I go to side view mode. Otherwise, it's going to be underneath each other. Now I don't really, uh, I don't really like that. Simply because it makes, uh, I don't know, like like the uh, well, the size of the screen is. It just doesn't really make much sense. I don't know. Like the touch screen is smaller than the uh, than than the game screen, which is true in the console itself. But I just don't really enjoy it like that. <laughs> so let's go back to side view mode and drag it all back to normal. All right. Now, there's actually also an announcement that I want to make. Pretty much the yeah, pre pretty much these are my settings. I'm very I'm very satisfied with these current settings. What do I use to record? By the way, I use Camtasia. You can also use Fraps, but then the video is going to be much much bigger, and obviously you will have preserved 
uh, well, a lot of the quality because Fraps, uh, well, because Fraps takes the video straight off of the graphics card or off the monitor. I don't know. I, 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 anyway, it preserves quality, but it, yeah, the file size of the video is, is gonna be like 30 gigabytes per video or some shit like that. I don't really want to mess with that. I don't really want to have to render out all these videos 10 times. But if, if but if that, yeah, but if that's what you're comfortable with, then feel free to do it like that. I just use a, I just use a pretty good software. It's called Camtasia. You can get it uh, on the internet. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a tutorial for that because I do not support or condone pirating. <laughs> Although I'm not saying that I have not pirated in my life. Everyone has, I think. Anyway, that's besides the point. Now, for the little update thing, and then, yeah, this is the, yeah, this does not have anything to do with the uh, tutorial anymore, by the way. <coughs> Pretty much. Um, well, as, as, as you probably know, I'm currently making a Pokemon Bloodlock challenge. Now I have some bad news. Uh, I'm gonna try and open up my internet, but it's probably not gonna be that good because I'm recording a very weird screen. Uh, well, it's going to be quite horizontally, <laughs> horizontally stretched or some shit like that. Anyway, so yeah, this is my YouTube, and if I go to my videos, as you can see, the uh, well, the second episode of my Bloodlock has been. Uh, has been claimed by a third party. Now, the part that has been claimed is completely not theirs. It's it, it, it's just it's it's this com it's a company called Wizdio, and yeah, they they seem to have matched some of my content with with one of their uh, partners. What is Wizdio? Wizdio is a French MCN, so multi-channel network, and well, I'm presuming that one of their uh, channels has has like a uh, part of the cutscene or part of his let's play uh, that's similar to mine and that's why it got auto claimed which means that I can't monetize it which means that I'm not gonna put it public I'm not gonna put it public yet I'm gonna have to wait until my dispute has either been accepted or not but I am definitely willing to take this further because I am not uh, a fan of other companies claiming my videos when they do not have the right to do so. This is not Nintendo. This is not the Pokemon company. This is Wizdio. It's a French company, and honestly, they have no right claiming my video. I don't really know why why this happened, but yeah, I'm gonna have to wait until they do that. Uh, I've heard some pretty bad some pretty bad rumors about this company in uh, in particular, being that uh, they claim videos that aren't theirs, and when you counter dispute it or when you, or when you counter their claim. They literally make use of the entire month before they actually come back to you because, yeah, they have to get back to you in a month, as you can see here, so a waiting response by the 25th of September, so that's like one month from now. And yeah, <laughs> it sucks pretty much, so why, yeah, why would they wait so long? It's pretty much because uh, if people, uh, if big channels want to post a video, that's like a hot topic or some shit like that, and they upload a video, and they see that it's uh, claimed by a third party, that means that they lose all monetization rights. Like, let's say even if their claim was valid, and even if I used 10 seconds of their footage and it got claimed, which I didn't do. This is just a let's play, m my material, I recorded it, I'm not really saying that I I'm not really saying that I got the uh, permission from Nintendo to make a Pokemon let's play but Nintendo is not the one striking me right now. This is this is, yeah this is a, a false company a false claim. I want to make that clear now. Uh, you can argue whether or not I should be able to monetize Nintendo stuff. Honestly, it's not your business. Uh, <laughs> so many people do it. Uh, if you really if you really want to follow the rules and uh, be very strict in terms of fair usage uh, then, the, well, then that's your choice, but then don't be surprised if YouTube becomes a shithole where all, uh, well, where all freedom in terms of video making uh, is gone. If you, want, if you want that to be the case, then feel free to leave that comment, but hey, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not angry with you, by the way. I'm just a little pissed by this. And I can probably imagine that Wizdio and other companies are gonna constantly keep on claiming my Pokemon Y videos. And, well, as I was explaining, why do these, why do these companies do this? Uh, or why do these companies wait so long before they actually solve the claim dispute and and, and and admit that they were wrong? They actually wait. Yeah, they actually wait the full 30 days simply because they well simply because they want they want those people to actually publish the video, which means that all monetization that well all monetization that that channel got for that video in those 30 days it, it all goes to Wizdio. So they get all the money. Even and, and, and even if it turns out that they didn't have the right to that money. They don't have to give that money back. So in the gaming world, when there is like some some big gaming new, uh, gaming news, and someone uploads a video on that, 
and it gets claimed, they still have to publish it or they're going to be way too late for it to still be relevant. And most of the views on these, on these types of videos uh, all occur in the beginning, like straight after uploading it. Which means that if they wait for 30 days before solving this, before solving this or be before uh, removing their claim, they get all the monetization for all, well, for all these views, for most of the views on this video. Which is completely criminal in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> it's not very ethical. Uh, that's all I can say. So I'm gonna hope that they're not gonna. Uh, well, I'm gonna hope that they're not gonna live up to their reputation, and that they're not going to wait for like 30 days before getting back to me. It does seem like it got like I don't know, 15 views or 19 views while I was asleep. So perhaps they did review my content. By the way, this video is still not public, and simply because of moral reasons, I am not going to publish it. Uh, if, if, if I don't get any money for it. Call me a money whore, but I paid a lot of money for this console simply so that I can enjoy YouTube and gain a buck from it to simply, uh, well, to simply gain back the money that I spent on this. I'm, I'm not trying to make a living or anything, I barely make 20 bucks a month if you're really interested in that. I don't think you are, but I just want to have a good time, but when I don't get rewarded and when, when, someone, else come, when, when someone else comes running away with my money, I, I don't know, it, it, it's just against my morals. So for, these, if so for this reason, it might take up to a month before I upload the second episode of my Bloodlock Challenge. And it's all the fault of YouTube and its bad copyright policy. Now I'm sorry if this video was a little, yeah, I'm sorry if this video was a little like uh, mum mumbly, stumbly, and bad in terms of uh, grammatical English, but I feel like I should talk about this and I just woke up and my English is not that good. And I don't really know what I'm talking about right now. <laughs> anyway, if you want me to make a real, if you, if you want me to make a real video on what the YouTube uh, policy is concerning copyrights and why uh, content uploaders are so uh, oppressed by YouTube and big companies, if you want me to make a video on that, then feel free to ask. And yeah, I guess I am now gonna leave you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully this tutorial will have helped you if you came here for the tutorial. Uh, this was, well, this was mainly an announcement video, I guess, but yeah, I don't really give a shit. Thank you for watching and goodbye.